The Uppa Baby Vista is one of the most popular and highly rated strollers you'll find, and new for 2020 is the Vista V2. So let's go look at the stroller, find out how it compares to older versions, and I'll answer that question, is it worth that $1,000 price tag? Hey guys, Andrew here at Dad Verb, and this video is brought to you by Pish Posh Baby. Pish Posh is your source for finding baby gear from brands including Nuna, Bugaboo, and more. And today we're diving into the Upper Baby Vista V2, which you can find linked below. Let's start with the basic functions and then I'll get into my thoughts on this. One main reason the Vista attracts so many parents is its build quality and overall longevity. This is a stroller meant to last you through multiple kids over the course of several years. In fact, before reviewing baby gear on this channel, this was our very first stroller back in 2017 and we're still using it to this day. It can expand to a double and accommodate two kids and with the addition of the piggyback accessory, you can actually haul up to three kids, which makes this extremely versatile. Now on that note, some of the biggest updates made for the V2 were largely centered around the seats. The main toddler seat on the V2 is slightly larger with a higher 20 inch seat compared to the 19 incher from previous versions. And it also has a deeper two and a half inch footrest versus the two inchers from the older gen. They also introduced a non-rethread harness complete with straps that adjust a bit easier than before. Now, one of the most notable changes has been the redesigned canopy and it is near perfect. With older models, the extended sunshade was tucked into the canopy, which was convenient, but it was also flimsy and it didn't offer that much more coverage. With the V2, the canopy is made up of three panels. Most of the time, the canopy will be extended to its standard two panel form, but you can now unzip and expand that third panel and get that full coverage along with some extra airflow through a mesh window. To expand the Vista to a double, you'll need to pick up the rumble seat and adapters. Now what you're not seeing in this footage are the upper adapters, which is just another thing to buy. We didn't get that. They do help with more leg room for the toddler seat, but you can get away without it. I will say you do need them if you are putting on the infant car seat though. Now that said, it is important to note the differences between the toddler seat and the rumble seat, which is smaller. The toddler seat can accommodate kids up to 50 pounds, whereas the rumble seat maxes out at only 35 pounds. So if you have twins at some point when they get older, one will sit a little bit more comfortably than the other. Now, if you're not having twins, this is ideal for two kids. Also, I mentioned it before, but the piggyback is a huge favorite of ours. For us, we most often go with the toddler seat and piggyback for our oldest, as opposed to going with the double seats. Obviously, the rumble seat and piggyback are extra accessories. They don't come with the stroller, but what does come included is the bassinet. It's suitable for infants up to 20 pounds and it is rated sleep safe when used with their bassinet stand. Now, from what I've seen, parents are split on whether or not they wanna use the bassinet or just stick with the infant car seat. The bassinet is great for maintaining that flat back positioning for spinal development and open airways, while the infant seat is super convenient with regards to moving the baby from the car to your stroller. Regardless of your preference, it is nice that the bassinet is included, though some may just set it aside unused. On that note, let's chat about car seats. Without the adapter, the Vista can take the Uppa Baby Mesa car seat, which is what we mostly used for our first two kids. It's great, unless bundled, it does come separate and it'll run you about 300 bucks. Now, most parents I see will go in that direction for the Mesa, but if you're eyeing other options, you can pick up their adapter, which can accommodate the following infant car seats. My favorite on this list being the Nuna Pippa Lite LX. That said, I am partial to sticking with products under the same brand umbrella, so I just recommend getting the Mesa as it is the native option. I wanna note that I've talked a bit about accessories, adapters, and whatnot. It's annoying that these things cost so much extra, but it is nice to know that Uppa Baby has a large range of extras that you can pick up on their site. Also, whatever works for the V2 will also work for the Vista models from 2015 and up. And as a quick plug, buying the Vista or any of its accessories through the link below helps support this channel and it's at no additional cost to you guys. So if you do end up going with the Vista, please consider buying through there. It is how I stay afloat and it's what keeps my camera rolling for you guys. Moving on, let me briefly hit on the fold. On either side of the frame are triggers, which you'll need to pull to initiate the fold. It is an easy motion, and after having tested a bunch of strollers, I have a big appreciation for how slim the fold actually is. I love the footprint, especially when comparing it to uh, the Mockingbird or the Kalugo Complete. It can fold with both seats on there, but sometimes the open can stick a bit. Personally, I just take the second seat off when getting it into the trunk. Also, it can get pretty heavy if you don't. 
The stroller and seat weighs roughly 27 pounds, so it is on par with other full sizes in the category. The frame itself is made of aluminum and magnesium, and having flown with the Vista multiple times across the US, I can attest that it can take hits and it can stand up to those ever so gentle airport baggage handlers. But bonus tip, if you use Upa Baby's travel bags for the Mesa, Cruise, or Vista and register it on their site, any damage will be fully covered under their uh, travel safe program. So it's a very cool thing that not too many people are talking about. At the very top of the frame, you've got a nice leather covered telescoping handlebar, which is great for parents of differing heights. And moving all the way down, the basket got a sleek remodel for the V2. It does remain large and can carry up to 30 pounds of cargo, and it includes a storage pocket for smaller carry along items like your phone and wallet. It can be accessed from both the front and rear, but one thing I do have to comment on is I've never been a fan of that crossbar cutting the basket in half. It creates an inconvenient divide, which has always been an annoyance for larger bags and items. Now, it's not actually an issue. I'm just annoying, and I wish it was a little bit more open like Mockingbirds or the Nuna Demi grows. Rounding it out, let's take a look at the polyurethane wheels. It's measuring at 11 and a half inches for the rear and eight inches at the front. So same as last year, but new for the V2, the tires are softer and the new spring action all wheel suspension system has been redesigned for a smoother ride on all types of terrain. I'll circle back to the feel of the stroller in a moment, but just know that this thing glides. Also new for 2020 is a wheel lock indicator for the front wheels and to cap everything off, off are the brakes, which haven't really changed from older generations. It hasn't needed to, it's great as is. It's a single pedal brake with a color indicator to tell you if the brake is active. So those are all the basic functions. Color-wise, you've been looking at the Emmett color style. Up a Baby has rolled out a bunch of new colors for 2020. They always seem to be rotating those. They've got great neutrals. Have a look, you'll, you'll definitely find something for you. Now the important part, beyond the functions, let's get into the buying decision. If budget is of no concern, I would honestly say get the Vista. For me, it's easily one of the best overall daily drivers that you'll find, and it is as close to a perfect stroller as you can get. Now for those on the fence, should I get it, should I not? This part is for you. If you're wondering if the added cost is worth it, it is subjective, but I would say Yes, now if you're really trying to stretch that budget and you know that spending over $1,000 for the Vista and Mesa, that that's gonna hurt, then stop watching. Don't worry about it. Google the Evenflow Pivot Expand or the Mockingbird Stroller and then just run with those. You'll probably get more value out of the Evenflow Expand uh, because it does come with that SafeMax infant car seat. Either way, you're gonna be happy with one of those. They are wonderful budget-friendly options and you should not feel bad about missing out on something like the Vista. It's a sentiment that I hear often. Please, don't feel that, it's a stroller. The other options that I mentioned are great. That said, the question I often get is why would I spend over a grand when I can just go with the Evenflow or Mockingbird for half the price and be happy? And I could point to a couple things to answer that, but the main thing is it's all in the details that make the Vista a technically more sound and just better option. The push is like no other. It's the smoothest stroller I've pushed and it's simply better with terrain versatility, suspension, turns, and single-handed operation. The fold is slimmer and somehow has less bulk than the Mockingbird despite having the same size. The form factor is just more buttoned up here. It's easier to get in and out of the back of your car. And for whatever reason, I pinch my fingers less. The customer support, warranty, and travel safe program all ensure an already remarkably strong stroller. And to dovetail that last note, the thing that I see most often is that there are times when people have gone with a Graco, Kiko, or even Flow option and have come away unhappy for one reason or another. They always say they ended up splurging for the Vista and never looked back. No pain of having to get something fixed or unhappy with the quality. They wish they would have just gone with the Vista in the first place and called it a day. So you are guaranteed a quality starter the way that the Pelicans saw Zion in the draft. Zion from Lonzo, yes! I have to end on a basketball reference, guys. LeBron, Jordan, the Upper Vista, Kobe. That's the league that we're in. As I mentioned, buying through the link below helps support this channel and it's at no additional cost to you. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for young families, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.